What's up guys? This is Casey. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use a stud gun. I have no idea why I'm holding it like an actual gun, but what is a stud gun? A stud gun welds little rods to metal, and then what you do, it comes with a puller, and you can pull them out. Like for example, this is a huge dent. I think they ran into a tree or something, because you can see where the mark was, or, or maybe it got hit with a bat, I don't know. There's, there's no way to get to this dent on the back side, and it's about this big. There's no way to get to it on the back, um, so the only way to get it to come out is to pull it. Um, the way a stud gun works, pretty cool, it actually, let me see if I can't zoom in here. There we go. It actually... This is the welding part, and then this is your ground out here. So instead of like a normal welder where you would have, you know, a separate ground that you have to clamp to something, the ground is actually already attached to it. Tip is hot, essentially. You know, this is just like your hot welder. As soon as it gets a ground, so as soon as this is stuck, this gets hot. And your little studs go down in there. Push it against the car, it welds it, and then you're good to go. Um, let me throw one in there and I'll show you. Here is the studs it welds. They come in different sizes and different thicknesses. But goes down in there like that. Like I said, that's hot now. That's your ground. It's not hot until it's, you know, the ground touches, but it pushes in. See? You push it up against it, hits your ground, that welds, and then boom, you can make a weld right to it. What we have to do. Paint obviously doesn't work. It won't weld through paint, so we have to grind all our paint off and get it bare. So I'm going to do that real quick. So we got our ground, we got our hot, and we got our stud. And all we do is push it up against it, hit the button, and then she goes. Bada bing. Just like that. Super easy, super quick. I love this stupid thing. What you can do, if you're wanting to do some shrinking, you cannot put a stud in. I don't really need to do it here very much, but I'll still show you. You cannot put a stud in and just use it as a hot spot. Like this. See, I got a little hot spot, so it's kind of raised up a little bit. If you do that enough, you can start controlling the way it's warping. You know, it makes life a hell of a lot easier instead of, instead of getting your torch out and all kinds of shit like that. Well, actually, I want to work. Okay, now let's pull them. The stud gun comes with a slide hammer and the tip of it grabs those little studs. You just twist it down, it bites on them, and then you can pull. Bada bing, almost got it right off the bat. There we go. Sometimes I'll weld a stud on it just so I can pull it and then tap around. You know, so, so sometimes you're not even you're not even using the slide hammer as much as you are just kind of yanking around on stuff. Perfect. Now all we got to do is break the studs off and then grind it. Like butter. 
it's hard to tell on camera, but that thing was in about the, you know, half of a basketball. I mean, it was a hell of a dent, but we're good now. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, all the shit they tell you to do at the end of videos. And uh, please check out some more of my other videos while you're at it. I cannot stop holding this like a gun, and I'm not even trying to be funny, but gangster. Just watch other shit. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I'm fucking 12 years old.